Hey guys, Mamie here. Um, okay, so I just have all the supplies I'm going to use today out on the table. And I've been wanting to make a video of this card because I really, really like it. So here is an example of the card we're going to make today. Obviously, they all turn out different. And I did a couple of them. I just loved it so much. A little, di little bit different styles. So <clears throat> these are the things that you're going to need. Obviously some water because this is distress, watercolor effect. Your distress inks and sponge sugar, salty ocean, barn door, mowed lawn, and then the little cubes of spice marmalade, mustard seed, peacock feathers, and picked raspberry. And then of course we're going to be using the stamp set by Lawn Fawn, You Color My World. Color My World is what it's called. It's a little stamp set, but it's so fun to use. And then here I just have my multi-matte medium, multi-medium matte in a fine line standard tip applicator. I have several water brushes because I never know exactly which one I'm going to want to use. So they're all different name brands. Uh, I think one of them is Pintel and <clears throat> Tim Holtz in just a regular watercolor and then a cheap one. And then I usually use a different type of watercolor paper, but today I'm just going to use the Tim Holtz Distress Watercolor Paper cardstock, I mean. And then some white embossing powder. Sorry the lighting's bad. Um, there's a storm outside right now, so it's perfect crafting weather, but not great for making videos. And then my Cutter B scissors and just a little packaging on top of some white paper to put my distress inks on. And then your stamp block, of course. And then these are the two watercolor papers. So I think what we're gonna do first is go ahead and, oh yeah, and some Versamark ink. If I can find it. Okay, here it is, Versamark. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to stamp out <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven crayons. I really don't like that shadow. Let me see. It's so dark in here. I guess that will have to work today. Sorry about that. So anyway, here we go. stamp seven of them on the smooth side of the watercolor paper. So the first color I'm going to use, I guess, will be the green. Mowed lawn. And first of all, I'm just going to use a regular paintbrush because I generally like to use just a regular paintbrush. Go ahead and wet the area just a little bit, not too much. And it doesn't matter if you get out of the lines because we're going to cut it out. So we'll have the sun coming from this direction. So we'll put our darkest shading on the left side. And then add a little bit more water. And start dragging that color over. Good. 
And now uh, let's use the salty ocean. So that'll be good. Now we're going to work on the background. And I'm going to use the rough side in the background, I think. I think it helps it spread a little bit better, in my opinion. I'm going to wipe off that color. colors off of your little palette here. Okay. And now I'm going to wet the background. You know what, let's use the flat side just in case my stamping doesn't come out very good. just going to kind of see it already almost dried up on me. So you can add a little bit of water. Let's get it moving. I want for it to be runny, but I also want for it to have a lot of pigment in it. So I'm just going to keep adding a little bit of color and moving it around.
This is pretty good. If you don't like these little lines that were left from the the uh, pad, you can just go over it with some more water, but it doesn't bother me. See? You can just wipe that peeling off after you dry it. Okay, so we're going to set this aside. Let it dry out a little bit better. And come back to our crayons here. And now we are going to just cut these out by hand. Okay, so I was telling you about the uh, the white part that's on the um, the color that got on the white part. You want to use a pretty dry baby wipe, like a. I mean, you really don't want it to be wet at all, and just go over it just a tiny little bit, because if you saturate it too much with water, then it'll start taking away from your watercolor. Say like this one has it all over the white, so you just wipe it a little bit. It's okay if it spreads a little bit because we're cutting it out. Yeah, but just be aware that it will kind of take away some of that color. Especially since I didn't, since I didn't dry the crayons. There we go. That's good enough. Okay, so I'm going to just show you one. Just make sure you stay on the outside of the um, emboss because we want to keep that nice white border. And it's a bit hard to see. And I'm pretty blind, so I just have to hope for the best whenever I cut things out. Okay, so let's clean this up a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to bring this back in, the background. I'm trying to decide if I want to use it that way or that way. I really like a lot of that white showing, like in the top. So I think I'm going to do it this way. Okay. Like I said, don't worry about this. You won't even be able to notice it when you're done. So I'm going to get my You Color My World sentiment and it also comes this stamp set also comes with a cute little smiley face which is so adorable I just I don't know I just didn't use it for these projects and for this one I'm definitely going to use my embossing buddy because even though I dried it, it might not be perfectly dry. Get nice and 
nice and dry. Okay, and we'll put it about, I'm going to put my head in the way, about right there. And I forgot to put my exclamation. came out pretty good and now we are going to do our fun little splatters and I'm going to do my splatters in the same colors that I used for the background except I'm also going to include the orange this time the spice marmalade And if you want big splatters, use a bigger brush. If you want smaller splatter, splatters, use a smaller brush. So I'm going to use the blue first. Okay, so now that's all good. All right, so now we're going to take our crayons and decide where we want them to go. This one, no, I don't want that in the pink. So we'll do this one kind of straight up. And then we'll do this one kind of wonky to the left. This one we'll do, well, not so wonky. Well, this one we'll do kind of upside down. And this one. We'll kind of go just a little bit wonky. And then this one we'll do upside down. Maybe this one a little bit more straight. So we can do these a little bit more wonky. I'm going to take this damp baby wipe and just go over that real quick. 
mix over the words so that the splatters don't take away from the words. There we go. And I'm going to use my Wink of Stella if it has any <laughs> left in it. Yeah, and you can't really dilly-dally too long with the Wink of Stella either because it'll start picking up that color too. So just go over it real quick and move on. Just about an eighth of an inch, really. And since this crayon is kind of already <laughs> too far over to the side, and I don't feel like cutting off part of it, we'll just take off more from this side. Okay. And now Make sure that the yellow is cute. Yeah, the yellow looks pretty cute. Like school teacher color. So we have that. And then I have a top folding card that is four and a quarter by five and a half. A lot of adhesive. By the way, if you have an ATG gun, have you noticed that the brown tape that you get at Amazon is just like so much better than the one you get at the craft store? Has anybody else noticed that? This brown tape, it just works so much better. I'm not sure what the deal is with it, but it just it doesn't like pull across like the other one does when you're trying to lay it down. Okay, line this up. It's a little bit wonky, so it's hard to to see it perfectly straight. And you want to press from the middle out so that you don't get any lumps. And that will help flatten your card. my card that took forever to make <laughs> but it's really fun it has lots of fun techniques okay now this is just going to go right on top and cover the whole front of the card Thank you. 
cute. Looks pretty cute, huh? Okay, so for a finishing touch, I think I'm going to do some, I don't know, I guess it's a, it's a teacher card. I'll do some dashes. And last but not least, put some candy dots on it. Seems like candy dots are kind of phasing out, but I am going to use the ones I have. Put one there. And these are so easy to use because you don't have to. Um, fuss with them too much. You don't have to glue or do any of that stuff. Let's see. There. I'll do a tiny blue one there. And one more color. Let's see. Yellow. Okay. I only have small yellows. That'll work. Actually, I'll replace this one with a bigger pink. Okay, so there we go. Here's our teacher's card. I hope you like it. And here's the other ones. Let's see. They're all made a little bit different. This one was stamped straight onto the card, so. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that I used, um, feel free to ask me down in the description box. I mean, down in the comments section. And because I don't have a whole lot of time to put tons of links in the description box, so, you know, if you have a question, um, I'll try to get around to writing them in the description box. It just takes me a while. So I'd rather get the videos out and you just ask a question versus spending all my time writing the description. And also, you can check my blog at onejoyousskip.com, and it has like a lot of other cards that I don't have time to make a video on. And if you see one that you would like to see a video on, then just comment below. All right, guys, thanks for crafting with me. Have a good day.